For Kickstarters, I'm extremely nervous or excited. Uh, my name is LeBron Taylor, and uh, I'm presenting to you guys Chi Dynamic, my invention, my innovation company. All right, for starters, I'm 26 years old. I'm a St. Louis native. Um, I was raised by two military parents. I graduated from the College of DuPage back in 2015, up in Chicago, where I played college football, and I also studied business. I've always had a passion for fitness and business, as I spend most of my free time exercising in between classes and practice. I noticed there's a limited amount of individual and group cardio training machines, options, and Chi Dynamic, we do for cardio training what games, video games does for gamers. <coughs> now the problem, the problem is there's a limited amount of uh, affordable cardio machine options. So that funnels general workout community into limited uh, personal cardio training machine options. And a typical, by that I mean a typical gym may have treadmills and ellipticals, uh, bicycles and stairmasters. Maybe there's a couple underground machines. Uh, but these are the few popular cardio training machine options. And the treadmill actually goes, the treadmill and elliptical, those both retail out for about $999. The Stairmaster on the low end goes for $2,498 on the low end, and the bicycle is the cheapest of them all, and that retails out for uh, $499 too. So you get an idea that these cardio training machines are not cheap, making them uh, hardly affordable. Uh, actually, I personally consider some of our competitors video games or those other training machine options, which we see the prices are pretty high. Even video games are a couple hundred bucks, $300 uh, dollars or so. So uh, electronics are keeping, study shows electronics are keeping people inside more and more, which uh, causes less cardio vascular exercise, which directly affects, uh, or I'm sorry, keeping people inside, making them less active, which directly affects cardiovascular health and well-being. Now the solution is Qi Dynamic. Um, what Qi Dynamic is, it's, it's a innovation cardio training machine that trains users just like the infamous suicide drill, um, commonly used in ultimate sports like football, soccer, basketball, sports of other nature. A lot of you athletes in here are familiar with the suicide drills. Pretty much how the suicide drill work is there's a start and a finish point, and the user or the trainer runs out to a designated, um, a designated, a certain destination, and they touch the ground where their destination is, turn around, and they run back to the starting point and repeat the similar variation until the exercise is complete. Uniquely, Chi Dynamic is affordable and it can be used indoors or outdoors. Um, the machine is dynamic by shooting out the bean bags in different intervals, pushing the user to sprint and retrieve each bag. Um, we're going to actually come out. I, I want to partner up with someone so we can create our own Chi Ball, which will tie everything the concept in to place, the name into place, and everything like that. We can mess around with color schemes and stuff of that nature, have a lot of fun. Um, the machine is dynamic, or I already said that, I'm sorry. Used, now the machine can be used virtually on any flat surface, and that's a tennis court, basketball court, um, football field, or even like a beach with sand or something like that if you wanna pump up the intensity. It can also be used by anyone at any fitness level, beginner to advanced. So uh, whether you have to start off running to retrieve the bags or the bean bags, that, that's fine. Um, eventually, you will be able to jog and run and sprint. 
how Chi Dynamic makes your cardio session more fun and enjoyable um, and interactive, which is really good, especially for uh, uh, a way for children to interact with parents or older figures, especially because they're impressionable. They see us all on our phones and uh, use electronics all the time. So this would be a good way to connect with uh, the youth. Now this is a mock sketch. On the left, we can start from the inside up top. You see there's like a little shelf that will hold and store the cheap balls. At the end of that shelf, there's like a door flap that will drop one ball. Fan two will blow and keep the ball suspended in mid-air. Fan one will blow and accelerate the ball through that uh, cheap ball canyon right there. Now, the cool thing, let's move to the outside. I'm gonna work from bottom up. Now, the cool thing about this USB charging port is at the bottom, uh, we are using USB and those charge up really quickly. And you can also use that to charge up your phone device while you're out using the product. Um, we have three modes, beginner, pro, and advanced, and there's an on and off switch. If you notice right here, we have an info display, and that's app integrated. So um, I would love to partner up with someone who's tech savvy as far as apps go, so that we can integrate the phone and people can see how many uh, bags they shot out, how many yards they ran, caloric stats, and stuff of that nature. She Dynamic is important because of its portability, its user friendliness, and the cardio benefits. My favorite reason why it's important is because it's also affordable. Uh, cardio is beneficial for mental and physical health, and the National Institute of Health actually recommends people getting 30 to 45 minutes of cardio each day. So with Chi Dynamic, we're able to influence a health conscious lifestyle which will get people healthy and fit. Now the next step for a Chi Dynamic is to get funding to create a prototype. Once we get that prototype, we'll use that for marketing purpose to get testimonials from professional athlete friends um, and social media influencers. And we'll you really use that content to create promo, uh, promotional content and curate a launch list. Once we have the launch list in place, then we'll be able to mass manufacture the machine and launch to the general public to get some horrible out of it. I appreciate you guys for listening um, to me this morning. Let's get into Q&A. All right, thank you. Uh, if you have a question, uh, just put your hand up, but please wait for the microphone. That's really cool what you have in mind here. Is that like the um, tennis ball launchers that people use to practice on a tennis court and you've designed it for bean bags or something? And there may be some similarities, but this is far more advanced than that because it's dynamic being, uh, it's not just for tennis, it's actually for cardio, it's targeted for cardio and it can be used on any surface. Yeah, I'm talking about launching the bean bags. Um, do you have a patent yet? I do have a patent. Good. All right. Um, so you're just looking for prototype somebody to help you create a prototype? Uh, well, funding will go further because I'll be able to create a prototype, um, begin a marketing budget, hire a couple people if necessary, things of that nature. Okay, great. So what is your strategy to keep people from finding an economic alternative, like either throwing, throwing it themselves, uh, using a similar product like a tennis ball launcher? Uh, what, what is your plan to keep people from finding an economic alternative? Well, that's a great question, actually. Uh, my answer to that would be there's always alternatives. As long as we can compete, then that's good. We want to give people a healthy cardio machine training option. So. That's our goal. Thank you very much. Um,
two questions I have is, um, what are you looking at as like a price point for your product? Like how much are you looking to sell for? Because you talked about different prices before and then how much are you thinking that it would cost to create the prototype? Amazing question. Compared to uh, video games, people are still picking those up. Kids are getting parents to uh, buy those and those go for three to 400 bucks. So if we can be around 250, uh, that, that'll work. I'm definitely down to negotiate. I'm just, you might have just like a, a general, but do you have a specific target audience? Uh, users 10 plus. We want to target the kids. Um, hopefully they'll get their parents to buy and the parents to see how fun and how they can use it as well. Have you thought about using a subscription model? I have not, but I'm open to the idea. Second question, do you require an outdoor venue? Does it have to be a plane? It can't be done indoors unless it's a large like auditorium. Correct. Well, they have uh, like indoor tennis courts or basketball courts. You can use it in a basketball court. Uh, really, down the line, well, there's also a training facility where you can use it. But later down the line, if I can get a manufacturer that can make it not necessarily waterproof, but kind of water resistance where you can set it on the side of a pool, those cheap balls can flow. That's another uh, surface and place that people can use it. All right, uh, this is more comment than question. Um, I think uh, with uh, what, what you have here, the, I think the biggest part is the, the app base of it. Um, you, you mentioned that, that uh, there, there, there are other alternatives potentially, like someone could just pick up and start running and do that themselves, but what I think makes it unique is uh, and, you know, a personal you know, interaction with your product would be being able to track your stats, uh, you know, check in, um, sort of gamify the whole, the whole process. So I, I think uh, as you're proceeding, just uh, you know, keep, keep that aspect of it front and foremost, uh, is that you know, the, the product itself needs to exist, but, but that part of it can be, easy, you know, even if people find a cheap alternative, they'd still be attached to that, uh, that, that app core of it. Sure, thank you. Um, I think one way that we'll be able to get retention or whatever the appropriate term is, is through our cheap ball. The cheap ball will be exclusive. Uh, we're gonna use some flashy colors. Our color scheme is gonna be, uh, let's see if I can go back a couple slides. It's not working, but our color scheme is gonna be silver and like neon green with gold specks. So it's something kind of sleek but timeless at the same time. Um, the balls will be gold. So, I mean, chase the gold, right? Um, and with uh, with your process as an entrepreneur so far, uh, what uh, what resources other than presenting today in One Million Cups, um, have you started to, to explore um, any in mind? Uh, I believe you connected to us through Ricky, um, the CET, is that correct? What was the ending part? Uh, that I, I thought that you were you came to us for one minute uh, through Ricky Henry. Um, that, that was my, my I'm, I'm probably wrong there. Uh, well, I was invited by Danny Kurth. Okay. Okay, awesome, yeah. Um, yeah, Danny, for everyone that's not there, um, he is with uh, Fleischmann Hiller, um, right? Um, yes. Yeah. Um, and uh, Fleischman Hillard also like comes by, gives uh, some free PR advice to uh, to startups around here. Cool. I thought I thought you were connected to us through Ricky. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, have you thought about marketing this to like junior high school phys ed teachers? I mean, I can see coaches doing this and getting some competition happening among the kids. Yeah, uh, not specifically those fit. Because they've got the basketball but, courts. Sure, right. Uh, well, we thought about uh, you know, getting these or talk, speaking with hospitals. 
obviously schools and hospitals. Um, and I say hospitals for rehab purposes and stuff of that nature. Uh, like gyms, obviously. There's boys and girls clubs, recreational facilities. There's a ton of, of customers out there that can see value from this product. Yeah, it sounds like the boys and girls clubs might be a real good beta test for you because you get some brand boost from working with a not-for-profit as well as they've got the facilities you need to actually use the product. And so that sounds like that would be a real good idea. Yeah, so I have to check that with those people. Thanks. <laughs> so you talked about the chi balls. What makes those um, different, or are those a like are those the beanbag things, or the balls a separate? And what makes that, and is that going to be a like different from regular balls? Or what what makes those special? That's a great question, and I cannot tell you the answer because I don't have a patent tool yet. It's an idea, but I, I guess I that was the cheap balls. I actually was not supposed to mention that to you guys, oh, but I, was, I mentioned it to illustrate an idea of. Yeah. What's going to keep our customers, right? What separates us? So, is there going to be uh, bean bags and cheap balls? No, there's going to be cheap balls. It's cheap balls. Yep. But people don't know what cheap balls is, so I said bean bags. All right. Uh, our always go to question is what can, uh, oh, is there someone else? What, uh, what can the community do for you? Uh, what, uh, what's our next step to, uh, to support your growth? Well, if I can partner up with an app developer, that would be wonderful. Um, and funding will go a long way, so I can, we can actually roll out a professional prototype with uh, a professional prototype that will limit defaults and stuff of that nature. All right, great. Am I missing anybody who has uh, questions? No? All right, well then, thank you very much. Thank you everyone for coming out to One Million Cups. And Principia, Dingle, and